हेलो 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 सर यू आर ऑडिबल सर यू आर ऑडिबल सो देन मे बी अदर टाइप्स ऑफ लाइफ लाइट्स हाइट्स बट नॉट लाइक दोस फॉर एग्जांपल नाउ आर्य भट्ट एंड ब्रह्मगुप्त They disagree with each other in so many contexts. <laughs> yes. So, so now uh, these are the names of place values given by Arya Bhatta. A kancha. दश च शतंच सहस्रम त्वयुत नियुते तथा प्रयुतम कोट्यर्बुदंच वृंदन च स्थानात् स्थान कोट्यर्बुदंच वृंदम स्थानात् स्थानम दशगुणम स्यात् सो हियर वन डिफरेंस एज ए मैथमेटिशियन यू विल सी इन द यजुर्वेद आल्सो द नेम्स ऑफ दिस प्लेस वैल्यूज आर गिवन बट it is not mentioned that the next one is 10 times the previous that is not mentioned in yajurveda yajurveda just the names one by one are given shatam sahasra dasha sahasra is actually ayuta here then 1 uh, lakh is niyuto 10 lakhs is prayuto koti dasha koti is arbudo vrunda vrunda is abja that is shata koti so so the names some of the names are still there as we see dasha ek dasha shat sahasra ayuta is not there right now people are not using it 10000 niyuta we are not using so that is 1 lakh prayuta 10 lakh koti arbudo 10 crores rund 100 crores or abja so shat koti सो स्थानात् स्थानम दशगुणम स्यात् सो प्लेस वैल्यू नेक्स्ट वन इज 10 टाइम्स द प्रीवियस सो देयर इज आल्सो प्लेस प्लेसेस एंड देयर वैल्यूज दैट इज समवट क्लियर हियर स्थानात् स्थानम ओके नाउ दीस आर 12 नेम्स व्हिच आर गिवन हियर एंड 10 10 नेम्स एंड श्रीधराचार्य एंड भास्कराचार्य दे हैव गिवन 18 नेम्स 18 names so 18th one is 10 raised to 17 so we start with 1 then 10 and so 10 raised to 17 so like that and right now these names ekam dham etc now deham is in marathi as we say and we sanskritize it as dham it is a dasha actually so these are the names and uh, you see that आर्यभट एंड भास्कराचार्य दे ऑल्सो डिफर इन द नेम्स ऑफ कोर्स दिस इज अनफॉर्चुनेटली विच आई हैव टेकन जस्ट फ्रॉम द संकेत अभ्यंकर्स ट्रांसलेशन बट द एक्चुअल वन यू आई विल शो यू व्हाट भास्कराचार्य राइट्स एंड देयर आर सम डिफरेंसेस इन द नेम्स ऑफ दीज प्लेस वैल्यूज नाउ सम ऑफ देम आर सेम लाइक एकादश शत सम आर डिफरेंट सो one thing which i want to point out is from sridharacharya onwards so sridharacharya was around 750 750 ad and bhaskaracharya was uh, 1200 means uh, 12th century so he was born in 1114 and died in 1185 so from the period sridharacharya to bhaskaracharya the names are the same throughout and they have stabilized and now 
the meaning of what is the meaning of mahapadma what is the meaning of madhya that we have to take as per vaskaracharya because the names have been stabilized in that period only there is small difference like uh, Sridharacharya says Maha Saroja and Bhaskaracharya says Maha Padma. But Saroja means Padma. So maybe people are saying the same thing in different ways when the meaning is same. But the terminology is essentially the same. Now another problem in this translation is that you will see Dasha Sahasra and so on. So that Dasha Sahasra and so on what we use now, Daha Azar, Daha Laksha, Daha Koti Vagare. This is the current terminology that we are using that is what is written here just for information that Sankhya Banker has given it. But the names actually were different, different and this Dasha and so on, this was made more popular in my opinion by Mahaviracharya. So Mahaviracharya what he did, he removed some names in between. Like after Sahasra we have Dasha Sahasra. Now Dasha Sahasra, Ayutta is the name given but that Ayutta we have removed now. Because you have to remember for every place there is a new name. So, so many names are to be remembered and that is complicated for common people. So that is why probably uh, Mahaviracharya used this Dasha and Sahasra for intermediate places. Okay. Sagar Kalana is there. All right. So now this is these are the 18 names given by Bhaskaracharya in his book Lilavati. So Bhaskaracharya essentially has four books, Lilavati, Vijganit, Graha Ganit and Goladhyay. So in Lilavati there is basically arithmetic and the twelfth verse in Bhaskaracharya is uh, this. Eka, Dasha, Shata, Sahasra, Ayuta. So this Ayutta is 10,000, which is same as Aryabhata, but Laksha. Now Laksha was not there in the, it was neither in Yajurveda nor it was in the work of uh, Aryabhata. But this Laksha is seen from the times of Sridharacharya. So Laksha, then Prayuta. Kotayaha, Kramasha. So Koti, from Koti the word Kotayaha has become. So all these things, all these names, Ekadasha, Shata, Sahasra, Ayuta, Laksha, Prayuta, Koti, Kramasha, Arbudo, Arbudam, Abjam. So Arbudo, Abjo, Kharvo, Nikharvo, Mahapadma, Shanku, Jaladhi, Cha, Antyo, Madhya, Parardho, Iti, Dasagunottaram, here also you have mentioned 10 times you have to multiply. Dasha guna, multiply by 10. Sankhya yaha, saudnyaha. Saudnyaha is in the previous. Here saudnyaha. Sankhya yaha, saudnyaha. Dasha guna uttaram, saudnyaha. Sankhya yaha, sthana naam. So, places. Sthana is place. And these are Javahara Artham Krutaha Purvai. So he says that these uh, have been done, by, these names are made by the previous people, which is true because Sridharacharya onwards, these names have been there. Sankhyaya Sthananam Saudnyaha. So these are the names. So uh, Aryabhata, after Aryabhata, uh, Sridharacharya gave these 18 names and Mahaviracharya who was slightly after Sridharacharya who was a Jain mathematician. So I saw that he has given 24 names and that also shows that he is a Jain mathematician <laughs> because there are 24 Tirthankaras in Jain. So that's why this auspicious number he has taken 24 and that many Names have been given by Mahaviracharya and because he was short of names also it is one reason that he has included in between Dasha and Sahasra, Dasha, Sahasra and so on, he has tried that way also. So the names, although the same uh, names are there, but the meanings of 
Mahaviracharya and Sridharacharya, they are different. So, uh, there is no unique meaning. Somebody says Padma. What is the meaning of that? So, Padma means actually Abja. But uh, no unique meaning. If you, if somebody reads Mahaviracharya, then he will see some other meaning there. So, one has to be careful. So, now the idea is we should now follow Vaskaracharya. Because from Mahaviracharya, um, Sridharacharya to Vaskaracharya, names have been stabilized. And after that, there is no change. After Bhaskaracharya, everybody accepted what Bhaskaracharya had written. Okay. So, it's 10 names were given by Aryabhata and 18 by Bhaskaracharya. Now, Sachi Jain and Jain. Okay. So, now, uh, these are the names I have mentioned here and corresponding names for million, billion, trillion, you see here, Dashalaksha, 10 raised to 6. But Dashalaksha is, uh, so this is like, uh, terminology is like Mahaviracharya here. Abja is 10 raised to 9, that is billion. And Mahapadma, this is as per Bhaskaracharya, and that is trillion. And nowadays, this 1 lakh crore, as you will see everywhere, that is exactly Mahapadma. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> everything is nowadays in terms of lakh crore <laughs> in the newspaper. <laughs> So, how much uh, tax has been received by government in a specific month? Lakh, one lakh crore, that is Mahapadma or trillion. So many rupees is the tax collected by government of India. So, it is in that. Okay. So, now, uh, Varga and Ghana, these two names have been introduced here. So, Vargaha, so this is the third verse, Vargaha Sama Chaturashraha. Chaturashra, so that means actually four sides and Sama means same, but Sama Chaturashra is specifically used for a square, not a uh, general, any other uh, any other quadrilateral. So, this word Samajaturashra is reserved for a square. So, Vargaha, Varga is used for such a Samajaturashra. Varga, the word Varga is used for that. And another way in which the word Varga is used is Phalancha Sadrusha Dvayasya Samvargaha. Sadrusha Dvaya, Sadrusha means equal, Dvaya means two numbers, two numbers equal are there. Then you take their Samvarga. Samvarga is multiplication or product. Samvarga is the product. So you take the product of two equal numbers. That is also called Varga. So Varga has two meanings. One is that it is a square and also the product of two same numbers, equal numbers. So, it is the usual square that we have. So, in English also same thing that square, two square. So, it is product of two with two and a square usually is a geometrical figure which has all angles of 90 degrees, all sides are equal like that. Similarly, Ghana has two meanings. Ghana is Sadrusha Three samvargaha. So it should be three. Three samvargaha. Three means three numbers you take which are equal to each other and take their samvarga. So samvarga is product. So that is called as ghana or cube. So cube in English also it has two meanings. Cube. One is cube of a number. So that number multiplied by itself and again with itself. So three equal numbers you are multiplying. That is a cube. And also the geometrical figure cube, same name is there in English also. So that is what he is having here that Ghana means Ghana has two meanings. So Ghana is product of three equal numbers or Ghana means the geometrical figure. He describes it as uh, equal, this figure which has 12 equal sides, 12 equal sides. So Dwadasya Ashrihi. 
Syar. So this is in short. So he is only indicating because he is not giving complete definition of that cube. But the commentators say that this is what he means. So Dwara Shastri is a word used for such a cube. Yes. but this it is not mentioned it's a them already probably they are used you know in that time uh, yeah so what you are saying is right that he is he has not at all given the definition of what is the meaning of samajatrasra because sometimes you know a specific name is fixed at a specific time for that figure okay so samajatrasra by that what do we mean Sama means what? It's also not clear that way. So, what is Sama? So, uh, so in that time it appears that Sama Jatrasara, Dwarasya Sri people would understand. So, he has not defined what these things are. But we understand that it is that thing, which is like Ghana. If you say Ghana, there is no description at all of anything. But we understand what Ghana is. <laughs> it is like something like that. Correct, correct, exactly. When you have that, because either you say all angles are 90 degrees and all sides are equal, so all that one has to say. So that is a uh, definition kind of. He has not mentioned here. He has not mentioned anything here. People, it is the argument like here is like this that people understand what uh, Samajatrasara is okay, and then he says Varga means Samajatrasara. Now you know what Samajatrasara is, and then it is that word is used for that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Rambas is also discussed, but that is not called as Varga. <laughs> that is not called as Varga. So here he is describing these two things together that square as well as uh, a cube. And the meaning of that, he is uh, he is calling them as Varga and Ghana, like that. So, uh, many times uh, this problem is there because the other later mathematicians, they were more descriptive uh, than Aryabhata and they would make these things more clear. Like, uh, I have not read Brahmagupta's thing, but Brahmagupta must be making these things more clear. And they have written very vast kind of treatises. Like, for example, Brahma Gupta has given the rules for 0. 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. A plus 0 is equal to 0. All these things are very clearly written in the work of Brahma Gupta. But this Aryabhata essentially assumes that these things are known to us. And he goes ahead. So, he writes everything in short. Only 33, you will see that so many things are there in the 33 uh, verses. Because otherwise he describes this, then this itself will take two, three verses. As for example, what the Mahavirajara is doing is now, here Aryabhata in one verse give, has given names for 10 place values. Okay, place values. He has given 10 names. But Mahavirajara, he gives only two or three names in one verse. Prathamam you call as ekam, etc. He does it in uh, very slowly. He does, and uh, because now this this law, for example, ja pinda cha bara vado samanastha chala hi ghana manta. Mani, this is just literal translation. But Dwarashastri, it must be having a specific meaning at that time, which people are understanding that it is uh, a ghana of this type. But it is. Uh, just bringing notice what area area is uh, kshetra kshetra area is not here see uh, kshetra phalala varga mantat tala uh, va tacha phalancha phalancha sadrusha dvayasya samvargaha so, Saman Rashinja Gunakarala Varga Mantat, that the translation of uh, 
So that is the translation of this thing. Phalancha sadrusha dvayasya samvargaha. But otherwise, uh, in my opinion, vargaha samajatura shraha. So this figure is called varga. And product of two equal things. So, tacha uh, khetra phalala. So, that you can also say additional information or something. Uh, that's all. Hmm. Yeah. It will come out to be the same. So that Varga. Hmm. Yeah. So, uh, actually here, whatever is written by Shankar, this is a kind of derived meaning, I would say. Uh, it is consistent with what the other statements are and it is given as a kind of additional information. But, uh, for example, it is not here. It is not here. That product of three equal numbers is gonna and this figure so, some object which has 12 things equal that you comes that comes to your mind <laughs> is cube and that is uh, Ghana, but volume is not written specifically here and this is an additional uh, explanation by Shankar Banker, not a part of the actual thing. Yeah, that's what I mean. Okay. Now, this thing is very complicated <laughs> in the sense that uh, you have to explain this thing by using our knowledge, the meaning of this verse. That is in the sense that if you try to translate it word by word, then you may not somehow get this. But, uh, so one has to understand by more study why this being is coming from that, how it is coming, that one has to really study probably by using uh, some additional tika or explanation on that. So, uh, first of all, so it is, it can be explained by using these uh, numbers like 625 and 1024 here. So, this Phayu is, he says it is Avarga and this is Vargasthana. This is Avargasthana. So, it is Vishamasthana and Samasthana as we call call it. Vishamasthana and Samasthana. So, Vargasthana, Avargasthana. So, Avarga is Vishama and Varga is Samasthana. So, now, uh, Something similar to what the actual operation is we see in the verse. So, the method usually is the following that 625 you want to find the square root of that. Then you take the largest square which you can subtract. So, 6 minus 4 we can do and then uh, the difference is 2. So, this 4 is a square and its square root is 2. 2 which you are writing here. At the same time this 4 its square root is written here in the answer 2. So that 2 we are writing. Now here uh, this part is not clearly mentioned here. Then so avargat, avarga like this 6 says avarga. In this the last avarga or vishabhasthan is 0. So, this is the last one. So, you must take 1 and 0 together. That is kind of the meaning. And here there is only one Vishamasthana or Avarga. Before that there is nothing. So, only you take this and subtract 4 from this. In this example, you take 10 and subtract 3 square from this and you get 1 as the remainder. And then this 
9 is there and its square root is 3 which is written here as in the answer and it is also taken here 3. So, multiply this 3 by 2 and here also we have multiplied this 2 by 2. So, that is what is mentioned. So, you take the vargamulo that is 4 its square root is 2 multiply that by 2. So, dviguna, dviguna means multiply by 2. That vargamula you should multiply by 2 and then you divide by that. So, bhagam harit. So, you take the divide this by 2 into 2 divide this 22 and then quotient is 5 and 5 into 4 is 20 and then 2 is the remainder and now uh, you should square this quantity and subtract so you get 0. So uh, there are two steps here that one is subtract the square and this step is uh, divide by 2 times the square root of what you have subtracted. So, these are two steps which are to be done alternately. So, varga to varge shuddha, shuddha the meaning of shuddha is when you get remainder 0 you stop that is the meaning of shuddha and then when you get remainder 0, you are stopping and then you are getting Varga Mula as 25 here. So, uh, this is by this translation is done by the usual understanding of mathematics that Shevatla Visham Sthanatun Sarvat Mutha Varga Vaza Kelaavar Varga Mula Cha Zagi Tya Varga Se Mool Lihun Nemi Uzviya Bazu Kadin Samasthanala Varga Mula Cha Dupte Ne Bhagave. So, you have to take the next one and then you divide. Then, whatever you are getting, uh, so, mag alila bhaga karatsa varga ha vaza karava. And then, tu bhaga kar varga mula cha javul uzvi kade mandava. So, here, uh, This 5 is to be written here uh, in the answer. And, and yes. Oh, Barbar. This used to be taught earlier, but nowadays it is not taught, I think. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Hip root, etc. Yes, you can you can modify this and get higher roots. N root, for example, I had tried once and I had given a formula also for that. Shevatse Vishamastan hai paths, paths, paths. Vishamastan or Shevatla, Shevatla with the Yatikani Ikards of Nataje, Hejana. This is for our current understanding, it is written. This translation is so Shevatsa only includes what from Hej Shevatsa. Saha, huh? Huh, with the Char Mazakela. to answer answer for convenience so so
हा म्हणजे हे काय हे आता मी जस्ट एक्सप्लेन घेतलेलं आहे बट नाऊ वी कॅन मॉडिफाय दिस होल थिंग अँड वी कॅन राईट इट इन अ बेटर फॉर्मॅट अँड ऑल्सो गिव्ह द एक्सप्लेनेशन सो दॅट इज द आयडिया अंकता मामतो गती हिचा अर्थ असा आहे की ते जे लिहिते ते असून त्याचा वेगळा संदर्भ आहे हे त्यांनी शेवटच्या विषयामध्ये स्थानातून शेवटच्या म्हणजे हे अभ्यंकरादी आपल्याला समजेल अशा प्रकारे म्हणजे हे पहिलं हे दुसरं असं करून हे शेवटचं असं म्हणजे हायेस्ट अशा कर आताच्या दृष्टीने त्यांनी लिहिलेलं आहे ते शेवटचं म्हणजे सो दिस इज फॉर अवर अंडरस्टँडिंग भागम म्हणजे भागम अरे हा भागाकार आहे ऍक्च्युअली हा जो भागाकार आहे ना तो त्यांनी म्हटलेला आहे की द्विगुणे न वर्गामुळे ना वर्गमुळे म्हणजे चारचा वर्गमूळ दोन त्याचा द्विगुण करा आणि त्यांनी भागा असं तो भाग इथं लावायचा पण हे अगदी करेक्ट होत नाहीये कारण जो पहिली स्टेप जी आहे ना की इथून एक मॅक्सिमम वर्ग जो आहे तो वजा करायचा तर हे असं नीट साईथ नाहीये दॅट थिंग दॅट वी आर अंडरस्टँडिंग किंवा हा करेक्ट करेक्ट ते तुम्हाला पुढच्या ह्याच्यामध्ये दिसेल अदर दम इज हिअर ओनली प्रॉब्लेम इज व्हॉट ही सेस अँड डज ही क्लिअरली स्टेट द अल्गोरिझम ऑर वेदर द मिनिंग ऑफ दॅट इज व्हॉट वी नो हो म्हणजे आता नाव दिस इज दिस वेल मेक इट स्लाइटली मोर क्लिअर बिकॉज दिस इज अ लार्जर नंबर सो हिअर व्हॉट अपन सीज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस इज द विषम स्थान लास्ट वन सो यू सब्ट्रॅक्ट अ स्क्वेअर फ्रॉम दिस दॅट इज फोर then we get 1 here now square root of 4 is 2 multiply that by 2 now you have to take the next number is 4 one digit you take now this is 14 and this 2 we have already written here okay now divide this 14 by this 4 and the quotient is 3 that 3 we are also writing here as here then uh 4 into 3 is 12 you are subtracting and getting this 2 then you are taking this next number 7 here below that 7 is written here and 27 you are getting 27 then you are subtracting that 3 square okay but why not 4 square is also a correct that's why you are doing this but the here there is a catch in the sense that we see that it is possible to also subtract 4 square okay it is also possible right yes 5 square also more over ha ah. so now the thing is that there are examples where you actually have to take 16 or 25 okay so these are some modifications of the original method which we do not get in the high school because in the high school you are asked very simple questions so that everything is adjusted so that you will get it by only one algorithm okay but the actual thing is that you may have to sometimes what happens is you have some difficulty later on and then you have to in that case go with this the next larger square and usually that is sufficient you don't have to go to 25 so either that or the next one 
So this is a kind of modification which is not explained by Aryabhata. And the general argument for this by our Indian mathematicians is that if you are clever, you can find out this. <laughs> that is what Bhaskaracharya has specifically mentioned. That if I tell you something uh, short, you can expand on that. But the main idea I am telling you. For example, for somebody, this idea, it is difficult to actually hook up. But then it doesn't work means what you should do, small modification I can do that replace 9 by 16 and I can go ahead and solve the problem. But it is true that in some problems you really require the next higher square. Huh. Yeah, yeah. So now the thing is, uh, yeah, so we can try that. Sometimes you have required, there are, there are examples, so right now I will just warn you that it is 5 o'clock, so, <laughs> so we will stop, but this example will complete, so now uh, this is 18 and then I take 5 from this thing and then now this 23 I must take from the, from the answer which I have created actually 23 up to that I have created, multiply that by 2. So, 46, divide this quantity by 46, you get 4. Now, 46 into 4, you subtract this quantity, you get 1. And then after that, you add, uh, put this 6 here, and that is a square actually, 4 square. That 4 you are adding here, and because it is Shuddha, that is 0 is the answer. Therefore, we don't have to go ahead. And that is the square root, uh, 234 is the square root of this number. So, this is how the method works. So, alternately, Sama Vishrama Asaja Sankhya Apan Anusar, we are changing the method multiply by 2 or square, etc. Those are alternate steps. You go ahead, but there are examples which have been found out in which you may have to take like this 90. Instead of 9, you may have to subtract 16. The next one is possible. So, now I will officially stop this thing and where is recording? Top video. Recording. Top chair.